In private sector, we have Tata Iron and Steel Company, Disco at Sakchi and Jamshedpur in Jharkhand, Jindal Vijayanagar Steel Limited at Torangalu, Ballari District in Karnataka, Ispat Iron and Steel Limited at Dolvi, Ratnagiri District in Maharashtra, and Duvari Steel Plant at Gopalapur in Odisha. All of these names, you all should know any one or two, it is enough, it is not compulsory to know all the four. Tisco is most important and Jindal Vijayanagar Steel Limited, since it is in Karnataka, it is better you learn the name. In public sector, we have Indian Iron and Steel Company at Burnpur in West Bengal, Vishweshwaraya Iron and Steel Limited at Badravati in Karnataka, Hindustan Steel Limited at Bilai, Durg District in Chhattisgarh, Hindustan Steel Limited at Raurkela, Sundargarh District in Odisha, Hindustan Steel Limited at Durgapur in West Bengal, Bokro Steel Plant at Bokro in Jharkhand, the Salem Steel Plant in Tamil Nadu, Vishakapatnam Steel Plant at Vishakapatnam in Andhra Pradesh, Daitari Steel Plant at Daitari near Paradeep in Odisha, Tata Steel Plant at Kalinganagar in Odisha, in addition, there are 199 mini steel plants set up in different parts of the country. India is the eighth the largest steel producing country in the world. So students, you don't have to learn so many names. Learn two in private, three to four in public. It's enough. And you should know what is the rank of India in the world. Now let's move on to the next industry, aluminum industry. It is the most important non-ferrous, not Ferrous means a metal that is not made of iron. It is a very important industry that is not related to iron. What are the uses? It is used in the manufacture of aeroplanes, automobiles, railways, ships, household appliances, electrical cables, aluminium foils for packing food, packaging material, paint industry and so on. It is a good substitute for steel and copper. The location of aluminium industry is mainly governed by the following. What is the raw material for aluminium? Bauxite. So the ore of aluminium is called bauxite. So where there is bauxite, there will be the aluminium industry. Supply of hydroelectric power and wide market and capital. Where is it distributed in India? It was started in the year 1942 at Jainagar in West Bengal. Now there are nine major aluminium plants in the country. They are in Jaikayanagar in West Bengal, Alampuram in Kerala, Mettur in Tamil Nadu, Belagavi in Karnataka, Hirakud and Daman Jodi in Odisha, Renukut in Uttar Pradesh, Korba in Chhattisgarh and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. Learn the example of Karnataka. And about others, any one you can learn, it's enough. India has the 11th place in the world. India imports aluminium to meet its domestic needs for aluminium. Cotton textile industry, conversion of cotton to the cloth of cotton. We all like clothing, we all like shopping. Now let's look at the cotton textile industry. It is the biggest and the most important branch of textile industry in India. It is the most important agro based. Agro based means relating to agriculture. Cotton cloth making was known to Indians since, since forever, since a very long time, but it was only confined to hand looms. They never made anything with machines. The first modern textile industry was started in the year 1854 when a cotton mill was set up in Mumbai. After that, they made a lot of progress and more and more mills were set up. India ranks second in the whole world after China. It is also the largest exporter of cotton textiles, the second place. The location of cotton textile, what are the factors? Now let's look at it. Supply of raw cotton, availability of power, market, capital, skill, labor and humid climate. Students, if you notice for iron and steel, for aluminum, we never discuss anything about climate. And even labor, we said cheap labor, but for cotton, you need skilled labor and humid climate. These are the two extra factors. 
distribution where is cotton grown in India that is where you are going to find cotton textile in India. An easier way we have studied soil black soil also called the cotton soil where there is black soil there is the cotton crop that is grown where you will find cotton textile industry. So, soils agriculture industry all three chapters are related. It is widely distributed over more than 76 towns and cities in India. It is concentrated in the cotton growing states like Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana. Maharashtra and Gujarat are the leading manufacturers of cotton textile. Mumbai is the most popular center for cotton textile. It is known as Cottonopolis of India and Manchester of India. These are cities in the US that are very popular for growth of cotton and cotton textile industries. So, for India it is Mumbai who has this title. In exam it will for sure come who is a Manchester of India, who is Cottonopolis of India or what is Mumbai known as or give reason. You should know this point very well. Now, let us go to the sugar industry, your favorite industry. I know you all love chocolates. It is the second most important agro base, which was the first, cotton was first. Since very ancient times, Indians knew the art of sugar making. How do we know that? Because we knew to make gur and khandasari. During the beginning of the 20th century, a lot of sugar industries were set up, but the progress was achieved only after independence. Supply of sugar cane, again raw material, supply of sugar cane, which is the main raw material, cheap and efficient transport facilities, government encouragement, market and capital are the main factors. So, here we also have government encouragement. How? By minimum support price. I already discussed with you all what is minimum support price. Coming to distribution, the sugar industry is concentrated in sugar cane growing areas which are they Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Punjab, Haryana, Bihar and Odisha. India is the second largest producer of sugar in the whole world next only to Brazil. Students, now let us look at the paper industry, the books you read, the books on which you write, all the art and craft the paper in everything we use paper. So, this industry is very very important. Paper is an indispensable, can you separate it? No, it is so important and useful product. It is used for many purposes for writing, wrapping, packing, printing. Education and literacy in the country depend on paper. They are measured by the consumption of paper. How? More the consumption of paper because you write notes, we come to know there is more literacy. So, the art of paper making was introduced to India in 10th century itself, but it was in the cottage industry. Was a paper mill set up at any point? Yes, it was set up at Sarampur, but it failed. Later, during the world wars and after independence, a lot of success and growth was achieved in the paper industry. Paper industry is a forest based industry, not agro, forest based industry it is. The raw materials used in this industry are softwood like bamboo and cellulose pulp, grasses like sabai and bhabar. Due to a lack of forest based raw materials, straw of paddy, wheat, bagas, cotton lens, rags are being used as raw materials. Besides this, plenty of water, a vast market, supply of cheap labor, transport facilities, power are some and some chemicals and other factors of location are important for this industry. Students, you should learn all factors here for the paper industry. Distribution, forests have to be available, raw materials have to be available, that is where these industries will be. Earlier paper industry was developed in the Hooghly Basin of West Bengal. Now, it is highly concentrated in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Odisha. 
In India, the present production of paper is not sufficient to meet its local requirements, so we also import paper from other parts of the world. Now let's look at knowledge based industry, the IT sector, something that Bangalore is very popular for. The term knowledge based industry is usually referred to those industries which are relatively intensive in their inputs of technology and human education. They require intellectual capabilities rather than physical inputs and raw material. They don't depend on availability of sugar cane or bauxite or any ore. It is more related to the skill, the skill of the brains of a person or the intellectual capacity to solve problems of a person. And technology or technological support is also very important for this industry. Why, how was their development in this industry in India? The development of knowledge based industry has become a powerful tool for socio-economic change. India has the potential to become a leading knowledge based industry. Why? Because we have so much of population that is young in the country and growing information technology. So at present it's very rapidly developing. IT or information technology is a key knowledge based industry. So in the knowledge based industry the most popular one is the IT industry. Its main components are software and hardware. The software is supported by both state and the central government of India. To encourage the industry, many software technology parks were established in 1995 in different parts of the country. However, the industry is mainly developed in southern states such as Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Telangana. Karnataka has achieved a great name in the software industry. Several information technology institutions have been established and concentrated in Bengaluru, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Delhi and Noida. Very important the students. Bengaluru, our city is the most important setter for Indian software industry and is called the Silicon Valley of India. They can ask what is Bengaluru called. They can even ask why is Bengaluru called the Silicon Valley of India. Mysuru, Mangaluru, Udupi and Hubli are other centers for software development in Karnataka. Side by side hardware industry has also developed. Software has become an important item of export in India and it earns a large amount of foreign exchange for the country. This brings us to the end of the chapter students. Now let's do the fill in the blanks. First one, Jindal Vijayanagara Steel Limited is located in which state? Karnataka state. Bauxite is the main raw material for which industry? For aluminium industry. Paper industry is a dash based industry, forest based industry. The first modern paper mill was set up in 1932 at Serampur in West Bengal. First question, what is meant by manufacturing industries? Mention their factors of location. Conversion of raw material into usable products is known as manufacturing industries. Example, conversion of sugar cane into sugar. The most important factors are 1. Supply of raw materials, 2. Supply of power, 3. Transport and communication facilities, 4. Market facilities, 5. Capital, 6. Labor and water supply, 7. Ideal climate, lastly, government policies. List out the major industrial regions of India. They are the Mumbai, Pune region, the Ahmedabad, Vadodara region, the Hugli, Kolkata region, the Madurai Coimbatore region, the Delhi Meerut region, Vishakapatnam Guntu region and the Kolkata Tiruvannantapuram region. Very difficult to learn so many names. So a tip to easily remember this, take a map of India students and mark these regions and then it will become very easy for you and you can even play with your friends where you make a chain. The first person can say the first region, the Hugli Kolkata region. And the next student can say the name of the next region. Like this you can make a game out of it and whoever misses to say the name of a region is out. So this way you can make a game out of this and learn it very easily. Give an account of aluminium industry in India. Aluminium is the most important non-ferrous material. It has a wide range of uses. It's used in the manufacturing of aeroplanes, automobiles, railways, ships, household appliances, 
electrical cables and its foils are used in packaging materials and even for the painting industry etc. It is a good substitute for iron and copper. The location of aluminium industry is mainly governed by the availability of bauxite which is the main raw material, supply of hydroelectric power, wide market in capital. Where is it distributed in India? The aluminium industry is the second important metal based industry in India. It was started in 1942 at Jayanagar in West Bengal. There are nine major aluminium plants in the country. India has the 11th place in aluminium production in the world. Describe the distribution of cotton textile industry in India. Cotton textile is the biggest and the most important branch of textile industry in India. It is the most important agro based industry. Cotton cloth making was known to Indians since ancient times, but it was just the handlooms. The first mill was set up in 1854 and a lot of progress has been made after independence. Now India ranks second in the world with respect to cotton fabric production. It is the second largest exporter of cotton textiles. It is widely distributed in 76,000 cities of India. You all should even write about the states where the cotton industry is in India. Why is the knowledge based industry very important? Write about the importance. The development of knowledge based industry has become a powerful tool of social and economic change. So it is very important. India has the potential to become the leading knowledge based industry with its young population and growing information technology. So at present it is a very rapidly developing industry in the country. Match the following. They have given you the names of some cities. You need to match it with the industry. Bengaluru, Silicon Valley of India. Mumbai, Cottonopolis of India. Badravati is known for VISL. Renukut is known for aluminium industry. Students, this brings us to the end of the chapter, Indian industries, very, very important. I hope you all will give it adequate time and learn it really, really well. Students, you all should work hard with getting your locations correct. From the examination point of view, factors are very, very important. Factors for location of industry, meaning of industry and the importance of some industries like iron and steel, cotton, sugar and so on. Okay students, see you all until the next class.